Welcome to Mac Training Academy. I'm Professor Joey Mack, and today we're going to go over the collar choke C option from the back. Before we do that, make sure to hit that subscribe button, like, and comment. Let's get into it. So, collar choke C. I'm grabbing in here. I'm holding the. I got my collar grip. Maybe I had his arm, and I'm trying to pin it, or post it, or push it down. As I'm doing that, he's fighting me and he pushes his hand upwards. As he pushes upwards, I go with it. The arm's gonna go behind the neck and I'm gonna use that as my pressure to finish. What that looks like is, so some details on it. The arm comes through, same grip. You can look in the other videos. I turn my hand, grab with two, two or three fingers and now I'm putting that pressure. With that pressure, I'm usually pushing down and away. You want it, you're trying to get a, an opposite reaction. Yeah, so as he goes, I let it, I let him go and I come up. From the shoulder, I go behind his neck, and then as I do the extension that I normally do from the other two sh the videos you'll see, as I let this go long like a rope, I'm taking this hand and I'm chopping like a scissors behind his head. So that my hands, this is pulling along in length, and this one's chopping. So one more time from a different angle so you can kind of see what the hand's doing. I'm here, I come behind the head. As I fall to the side, I'm letting my arm go long and limp, and as I'm doing that, I'm chopping his head with this hand and pulling through to finish. And that is collar choke B from the back position. Make sure to subscribe, like the video, and ask any questions you might have. Thanks.